Hi, Mark Gordon here with your gold, silver, and spider report. Uh, this is the GLD. This is the uh, exchange traded fund for gold. And uh, down about a half a percent today. We're fighting a battle here at this red line. This is the 21 day moving average. We got above it uh, uh, this morning and then closed uh, right on it, um, trying to push past this. We're also uh, staying above this green dotted line, which is the 100 day moving average. Uh, we have had now uh, one, two, three, four, five, six closes above the uh, 100 day. It is providing support now, which is a good sign. Now, these I drew these um, uh, blue dotted lines to show you this sort of wedging action that's happening. Prices are being squeezed down into this wedge, and uh, it's going to resolve itself uh, either to the upside or to the downside. I must say that when wedges uh, kind of drift higher, like this one is doing, is pointing a bit higher, it is a sign of weakness. And another sign of weakness that we do have, I'm going to scroll down here and show you the uh, volume. Uh, the volume has been light, and the only day that had average volume was a down day. Um, and a wide ranging down day at that. So uh, volume is not showing any conviction. Trying to drift sideways here using this 100 day uh, moving average line as support but wedging higher. Uh, so uh, if, uh, if gold is hit uh, uh, by, the, uh, by the pack here that uh, they see this light volume, they see the wedge and they may hit it. Now your support will come down here uh, at, uh, uh, at the 100 day moving average which is currently at $161 and 28 cents. Uh, we closed today at 162.62, so just you know a little bit above, above that. And um, another sign uh, of weakness may be this red line, 21-day uh, moving average crossing over the 100-day moving average. Uh, another sign of weakness is we are below the 50-day moving average, which is now flatlining though, going sideways. So gold, uh, kind of in no man's land here, um, uh, you know, trying to stay above the 100-day moving average, uh, doing so, but uh, there are signs of weakness. So bottom line for gold, taking a big position, uh, betting that gold's going to go up is a very risky proposition right now. Oh, and if we do get a break below the 100-day moving average, your next uh, uh, point of um, support will come here at this lower trend line, which uh, has been tested twice now. Um, of late, and that comes in about $157.50. And moving on now to silver, this is the SLV, the exchange, exchange traded fund for silver. Also notice this sort of uh, wedging action, uh, not uh, uh, pointed up though like, like the gold. This is more of a sideways action here, a more bullish chart. Actually, if you look at the tops, um, uh, a line here from the important tops, uh, you can see it actually downsloping a bit. Uh, again, volume light, uh, silver trying to find uh, a place here. Uh, it is below all key moving averages, uh, below the 200-day, uh, the 100-day, and the 50-day, which is now going to cross the 100. Traders look at that. That's a, not a good sign. Uh, we also have the 21-day moving average falling very rapidly, and uh, prices are still uh, to the left of that. So uh, silver trying to find a direction. Um, Getting support here at this gray line that has now swooped up. This is the 10-day moving average. Uh, so we'll see what happens with silver. But again, sideways action, direct, directionless trading, very risky trades here. Um, you can get carved up pretty good if you if you uh, bet on direct, directionless markets. So uh, silver, um, I'm just watching at this point. And moving on now to the S&P 500. This is the SPY, SPY. And uh, we got above this upper trend line here and uh, got held back here. You can see this sort of bluish area. These are the Bollinger Bands. And what they do, there's a mathematical algorithm that holds prices in 95% of the time within these bands. So um, uh, it got held back by that upper Bollinger Band. And now this upper line looks like it may be um, uh, offering some resistance here. I'm, I'm sorry, some support here as prices fell and closed right on that line. Uh, again, uh, down about 2% uh, today on the uh, S&P 500, um, uh, ripe for a pullback. Uh, we had you know, a massive run up and um, uh, due for some sort of a pullback here. Uh, volume was not uh, crazy. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, sort of below average volume days here. Um, so let's see what happens here. Um, I don't like to uh, take a, a position after a big run. I like to see uh, how the consolidation works. So let's see if we can get some sort of a base here uh, to trade off of. 
Now some of the bullish uh, signs are we are above this blue line, the 50-day moving average. Uh, we are above the red line, the 21-day moving average. Uh, but we are below the 100 and the 200-day. So S&P 500 trying to get something going here. Uh, great couple of weeks here. Nice rebound. Um, uh, I'd like to see a little more volume come in. Uh, we did have light volume on, on a lot of this run here. So again, not much to do in the markets. Uh, trying to find some direction here. And uh, best to uh, to watch your money and wait for a better opportunity, in my opinion.